Hey, what's going on guys? I'm in Florida at my grandparents' house and tonight we're gonna go out and try to see if we can find some geckos. Hopefully, um, there's gonna be some geckos around, you know, the walls and stuff. There's lights everywhere. Hopefully there's gonna be bugs that try to see the lights and maybe, if we're lucky, we'll find a gecko or a few geckos that will be, you know, trying to hunt the bugs and we can maybe catch them. this like head cap with um like a flashlight just like a headlamp and there's a gecko right here I'm gonna try to catch him got him oh he's, he's under my hand oh he dropped his tail shoot there's his tail <laughs> now gecko's tails are actually basically what they use for fat reserves and especially desert species of geckos, like leopard geckos, they have really fat tails because they basically, um, all, their, all their fats and reserves are in their tails. But luckily, we're in Florida and there's a lot of insects around. So because this guy dropped his tail, I mean, he might not be able to store as much food, but there's so many bugs out here, he's gonna be okay without a tail. And that is a really small little gecko. I'm pretty sure, oh, I'm pretty sure, oh, I'm pretty sure this is a house gecko because he doesn't have that many spots. If he had a lot more modeled um, blotching, he might have been a Mediterranean gecko. Now, all of the geckos that live out here are not actually from Florida. They're all invasive species, and I can feel his, uh, his toe pads are very sticky. Now, this is a very little guy. Um, he's got big buggy eyes, which helps him, like, locate insects. There's plenty of moths. I've seen some moths, some flies, all sorts of stuff like that. And we just found him right here on this um, wall. And I'm going to put him back. And look at that. His feet are still stuck onto my finger. And there he goes. Hey, over here. He's up over, up, right up there. Right up in there. Behind the, behind the gutter. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Hey, there's a bigger one right up there. Look at that one. Look at that one. Yeah, that's a different species. Okay, that's a Mediterranean gecko. This is an Asian house gecko. Ooh, and he's got a decent bite too. Actually kind of stronger than a Knoll's bite. Now, I know that the Toke gecko, which is an invasive species that's blue and red, they live way down in southern Florida. They're also invasive, and they have a really bad bite. They can actually break skin, but this guy's given a decent chomp. So this one's a lot paler than the one we saw over there, and slightly larger. And this one up here, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch that one, because I have to jump. <laughs> but this guy just came out of nowhere. They're both, they were both behind this gutter. They might even do more. Okay. Wow, this is a very pale gecko. You can tell there's a lot of different kinds of geckos out here, which is kind of crazy because you'd think, well, I mean, it's Florida and none of the, these geckos are even native to here. And the fact that there's like three different species that are all living here means that there's definitely a lot of food to support these guys. And look at that, he kind of blends right into this gutter as well. And look at that, even now, now that I've kind of, you know, held him for a little while, he's kind of comfortable on my hand now. He's not even afraid of me anymore. And I can feel his, his fingers, look at that, his foot, feet are just gripping on tight. That is crazy. Wow. There he goes. There he goes. Wow. got a tiny little frog just jumped onto the uh, patio concrete I wouldn't have seen him because he blends perfectly into all this dirt I have no idea what kind of frog this is doesn't look like a tree frog definitely doesn't have the feet of a tree frog so he's not a tree frog but he is some little frog I probably have to look that one up in the field guide so I looked it up when I got back and I found out that this species of frog is actually called a greenhouse frog and they are just like the geckos an invasive species 
These guys are actually from the Bahamas and Cuba area, and they've made it to Florida, Hawaii, all sorts of places, and they're really, really small. That was actually a full-grown one. They're very tiny, but just like the geckos, they're an invasive species. Another thing I want to say before I end this video is that basically the first night when we went out to look for those geckos, we actually didn't really, like we saw some, but we didn't actually catch a Mediterranean gecko. So here's a Mediterranean gecko. I caught some like in the later nights because I basically went out like every night to catch these geckos because I got pretty addicted to it. And basically I found a lot of Mediterranean geckos actually. And they're basically the same as the other geckos. They're just... They have a bit of a different patterning, they're more, you know, darker, speckling kind of thing, and of course they're slightly larger. But overall, I thought that this was a really fun video to make. Obviously my grandfather helped me film it, which was good because the slug video, I was just filming it all by myself. But basically this video was a pretty fun video. I really liked just going out there at night, looking for geckos, even after the first night, like I said. I kept going out every single night and looking for geckos, and actually this is the first time that I really went out to look for geckos the whole time I've been in Florida, and I've been going to Florida for years, and I guess I just never realized how many geckos there were, and it's kind of creepy, there's actually so many geckos out there. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the slug video as well. Those are the only two videos I really could manage to make in Florida, I'm back in New York now. Hopefully I'll be able to do some other stuff maybe in the next month or two, but I have a lot of tests coming up. I have APs, SATs, and Regents all coming up in the next month or so, which I'm really, you know, scared about. So I had to obviously focus on that for a little while. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed these videos. Peace out.